But the truth is, all Hindus are at risk. Mm-hmm. Um, and as a Hindu myself and a soon to be mother, I find this very distressing. Um, when I am my husband, we're considering where in Parat to move to to raise our young family. It's really a dilemma we're facing when we're looking at a map of India. And instead of really focusing on the things that I would love to be focusing on, like, the, you know, where's the best climate for my preferences? What's the infrastructure like? I find I'm focusing more on what are the demographic changes in those regions? How many attacks are there on mandirs and on Hindus in those regions? And you know, if the Break India forces were ever successful, what would the consequences for our physical safety be mm-hmm. in those places? Um, and so with, as with any genocide, you know, the objective must be to make the genocide stop and make sure it never happens again. Mm-hmm. The problem is that there are so few people who are who know about it, who acknowledge it, and it's it's growing in awareness certainly, but it needs to be happening at a much much faster pace, because at the moment the terribly sad situation is that you know, if something were to happen to my young family and myself for being Hindus, I'm not sure you know justice would be served. And because that's rarely what happens when the victims are Hindus, quite often justice isn't served. Mm.